The 8 and 3 Klein Bearcats squared off with the 6 and 5 Leander Lions in the second round of the Class 5A Division II playoffs in College Station. The Bearcats had lost three of their last five games, but after last week's 44 38 win over Lufkin, many Klein supporters were thinking about a repeat of last season's deep playoff run. Meanwhile, the Lions were roaring into the playoffs, winning four straight, including six of their last seven games, after losing all four non-district contests to start the year in a tough preseason schedule. Leander scored on its first drive when quarterback Chase Kelkin tossed one up for Texas A&M commit John Henderson, who went up high and strong between two defenders to haul in this 25-yard touchdown grab, 7-0 Leander midway through the first quarter. The ball was, I mean, it was a little bit short, but I mean, he got it to me and then all he, that's all he has to really do. So, I mean, I just jumped up and competed for the ball. Klein had the answer on their next possession as Michael Liddell guided the Bearcats on an impressive drive. Keyshawn Hill took the ball and raced 15 yards to the outside for the game time touchdown, and it was 7 all. Hill had over 1,400 yards and 14 touchdowns coming into this featured matchup. It felt real good. I mean, it felt like we could do it. Felt like we could do anything we could. Uh, it was kind of a walk in. Keyshawn carried his team. You know, uh, a lot of people give me a lot of credit, but all, honestly, all I did was hand the ball to Keyshawn. You know, I'd check the play, and he'd go wherever he needed to go, and he'd make plays. And it, he's a big star. He's good for, and he carried this team along with the offensive line. And I give them all the credit in the world. Both teams stiffened up on defense for the remainder of the game, Klein keeping Leander in check on the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, Leander's defense bent but did not break as Bearcat field goal kicker Rex Baxter missed a pair of field goal attempts. This one appeared to be partially tipped by a Lions defender, keeping the score tied at seven. Leander put together one last drive just before the half. The nice pickup by Kelkin under center as he gallops for a huge chunk of change. Henderson gets back into the act, making a catch and picking up some more positive yardage. Leander went for six in the closing seconds of the half, but Nico Brown could not come up with this Kelkin pass in the end zone. Time expired and both teams headed to the locker room tied at seven. Henderson made a couple of huge plays to open the third quarter, beginning with this kickoff return. He hauled it in at his own three yard line and raced 72 yards to the Bearcat 25 yard line. Henderson got the call again as he darted 22 yards this time to the pylon, but he stepped out around the three. Good call by the ref who was right there on the play. Of the 14 touches, Henderson finished with 76 rushing yards and 43 receiving yards. Now to give you an idea of what Klein's defense had to contain in Henderson, let's flash back for a minute to mid-season when Leander head coach Steve Gideon went more to the Wildcat formation to get Henderson more touches as he became a key factor in Leander's recent winning ways, scoring 11 touchdowns in his last five games. Henderson even had a 300-yard rushing performance to boot in one contest. We call it by the, the kid's name. This year we called it Gator because we said, okay, you're going to be Tim Tebow from, uh, from a couple years ago. But everybody's got their version of it. But, yeah, John's doing what we've been doing for five years. John Henderson is not only excited about coming to Texas A&M to play football, he will also play baseball for the Aggies. In fact, he plans to start in center field as a freshman. My goal is at Texas A&M are to come in there and be the best that I can. I mean, go out there and play on the field. And then for baseball goals, I mean, my goal is to start as a freshman and, and do, do a lot of good things for him. Back to the action with first and goal on the three. Klein stood strong in the first two downs, but Leander quarterback Kelkin would score on third down from one yard out and the Lions were up 14-7 in the third quarter. Trailing 14-7 with about seven minutes remaining in the game, Klein was on the 25-yard line and tried to use a little trickery. Wideout Andrew Santa Cruz took the handoff and tossed the pass to wide open Chris Loving, but Bradley Yoko was there for the Lions to knock the ball away. Leander stood strong and kept the Bearcats out of the end zone again. Leander's defense made play after play throughout this matchup against Klein to preserve the 14-7 victory and advance to the third round of the playoffs. It was a bitter end to a promising season for the Bearcats, who felt good about their chances coming into this game, especially after enduring such a tough district race in 13-5A. Heck of a good year. Um, for, to be a first-year first coach, bringing new coaches into the program, and for these kids to respond to the new things we were doing and for them to make it to this point, I think, is remarkable. Uh, a testament to their character and what they're about as young men. Jeff, what what's happened in the last part of the, the district schedule and then these early 
playoff games is that our defense has stepped it up. And, you know, we, we gave up six points uh, game 10. Uh, we gave up uh, zero points last week, gave up seven. So our defense is, is uh, taken to heed. You know, if you're going to win some championships, you got to be playing some great defense. The Lions season continued into the following week before a disappointing loss to Mesquite Horn up in Waco. In College Station, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports, your number one source for high school sports coverage.